All right, for the last problem, problem eight of the chapter five hydraulics homework, we're gonna solve if a double barrel concrete box culvert whose barrels are seven feet wide and eight feet high, will that meet the minimum performance criteria? And we'll use the 30 degree wing walls again and the KE of 0.2. So this is very similar to the problem we just solved, number seven, where we had eight foot wide and seven feet high. Now we have seven feet wide and eight feet high. So if we take a look at our number seven, basically we're just switching around those numbers. So that's for our number eight here. I'll kind of put it under it and together it. And remember, we're checking what our big thing is for the performance criteria is are we going to exceed that maximum allowable uh, headwater? And remember, we calculated that before. Um, we knew the elevation was 309.3. We had to subtract the invert elevation to figure out that maximum headwater. And so it is 8.3 feet. So when we did it for the first scenario here for eight feet wide and seven feet high, uh, neither of these, and the bigger was, it was inlet controlled, neither of these were bigger than the 8.3. So now we want to try it by switching this seven and eight and see if that's going to switch things around. So let's go ahead and take a look at that chart one. So now, instead of B being 8 feet, B is going to be 7 feet. And our D is going to be 8 feet. Okay, so now our Q over B becomes 500 over 7, uh, which isn't that much different. It's like around 71.4 cubic feet per second per foot. So it does change things a little bit. Let's take a look. So for our first line here, we're going to start at the 8. We're going to come down a little bit above the 70, but we still get in here right around that 1.1. So I'm still just going to go ahead and use that 1.1 number for my HW over D. But remember now, my D is different. So my HW over D, I'm still going to call that about 1.1. But for my HW, I have to take that 1.1 and now multiply it by my D of 8. And so now my HW becomes 8.8 .8 feet, which is bigger than that allowable headwater of 8.3 feet. So 8.8 .8 feet is greater than that 8.3 feet allowable headwater. Uh, so we're just going to stop there. That design's not going to work.